Yeah, I'm alive. Hey, hey, I am uh, Aussie Brickchick, and this is Aussie Brick Bloke. Uh, welcome to our couch as uh, we uh, crack into our pile of shame. Yep. And what are we building tonight? I want a garage. Something big and exciting. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, and as always, uh, we always have a, a few friends keeping us company in the panel. We've got Dan, the man from New Zealand. Hey, everybody. I'm just sorting parts. That's fine. We'd almost forgotten what you look like. <laughs> yeah, been, yeah, been a real busy couple of weeks for me, actually. Ah, uh, that's all cool. We'll, we'll, we'll catch up and find out what you've been up to. And as always, we got Bill Tom. Hello. Hello, hello. And you've been busy too? Um, Getting ready for Canberra? Yeah, I've got that in just a couple of weeks' time. So Woo. finishing touches and all that sort of jazz. Exciting. Yeah. Lots of bags. Ooh. Lots and lots of bags. Oh. Sand base plate. Sand base plate. All right. How many fillings of bags does this thing have? All right, a manual that isn't bent. That's a good sign. Yeah, yeah. Too big to bend. Oh, we got a few early birds. We got a few early birds in the live chat. Cyberic87 says, Hi, you're late. No, we're not late. Sometimes, just to mix it up, we start at eight. It depends on what I've been doing during the day. I've been mowing lawns with that. So. Eight it is. Uh, we got Shieldy one. He says no, nope, not eight pm yet in Queensland. Lol. Johnny G says CMS. We'll talk about those. Andrew Thornton says we are waiting. Uh, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully you've refreshed your page. Okay. Alrighty. Is that making all the noise? No. no so much twice. noise. He's sorting all the bags. There's so many bags. Probably more than one bag one. There's some uh, really, really cool techniques in that build. Yeah. Really yeah. cool techniques. Yeah. Well, that's one of the good things about the module is it teaches you stuff. Absolutely. This is the part where he, he pro, he'll probably say, well, maybe you should have been building some of this and learned some stuff. Finally <laughs> found another bag one. Finally. Another bag one. Shieldy one says, I wonder how this is going to work when Hangouts go away on August 1st. Um, I'm going to have to probe my friends that know how to do things with OBS. And then we're going to have much smaller panels, apparently. Which is going to suck. But, you know, we'll figure it out. Still got a couple of weeks. Can't rush these things. I mean, no, I've, I've been hearing that Hangouts is going for, what, how long ago did Spong say that Hangouts was disappearing? Yeah, like he called this a couple of years ago. You done making all the noise yet? Yeah, finally. Yay! The box is so big it doesn't it's fit. A tall box. It doesn't fit in the spot. Usually you have the spot underneath in the middle so people can see what we're building, but no. It's a very tall but narrow box. It it's so tall that it's taller than, you know, the nice spacing. Yeah. The half the I think with all the other modulars, isn't it? Oh, that one was shorter but slightly Yeah, that was shorter but fat. This one's yeah. tall. Weird. I don't Weird. know. Mine are all flattened under the bed in the chair. Oh, well, our modules. We don't have any of our modular boxes. No, <laughs> no. Yeah. Boxes don't live for very long once they've been opened around here. Like, if we disassemble things, they go into tubs that we bought. The only as well. boxes we keep are idea sets. Mm -hmm. And... And not necessarily Pretty all of those either. Sets. Yeah. Oh, we got Aston. Primal Gaming says evening all. Hello. What's this? Trying to work out that 
have to use 4G internet. The NBN is not going to live over here until next year. Oh, good for you. I saw your test stream yesterday. First module is saying no stickers. No stickers. No stickers. No stickers at all. What are you missing the sticker sheet? Yeah. Who's getting excited for the, the tree house? Yeah, I am. We're, we're going to be ordering it on August 1st. Not, not waiting for it. Just straight in. Yeah. Um, he's already mentally spending all of his tax return before he's even got it because he doesn't do a tax return. He does a tax bill. Yeah. Yeah. I, I give him, yeah. As long as you don't mentally t t mentally spend my tax return as well. So you, your you tax want yours in Melbourne. I want mine for me. I don't care about anything else. Mm -hmm. Ah, that sounded really mean. Uh, hello, Michael Zappel, Warren G. Welcome. We are building the quarter garage. By uh, we, I mean he is because, like, it's not something you can share, really. Not this one. Not like the prison restaurant. Oh, if you ever want to share a modular, prison restaurant's a good one to yeah, do. Yeah, that have multiple um, instruction books. Yeah, you could share it with three yeah. people. It's very good. Uh, question. Here's a question I wanted to ask. I think the Disney Castle quality slapped off a bit towards the end of the build. What is everyone else's thinking? Don't have an opinion because I haven't built it. Yeah, I don't have an opinion because we haven't got that one. Yeah, the end of it seemed to go quite quick. Seems to be the same with all the modular stuff like that. Though. Well, is it? Yeah, it's usually like really when you get intensive to the, like, the in the bottom. Part, it just be, 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 yeah. yeah. <clears throat> And it seems to be like that with, like, the creator cars too. It's like, you know, you, you start with, like, the chassis and all the the structural bits and then yeah, once you get past a certain forever. point, it just goes foomp. Yep. I think it's just the nature of the beast. Oh, hello, Mickey 3CS. Some of my Q-Log peeps rolling into the chat. I know it's probably uh, a little too little too late, and it feels a little bit like the horse has bolted on this one. Mm. Um, but there is a press release coming for the treehouse tonight or tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, they've already they've already released the the video from the designer as well. Yeah, I don't know who dropped the ball on that one, but. Well, I heard that there was a an oops. Comic -Con? At Comic Con, where a retailer was selling them for like nearly a whole entire day. I think they've been on sale. They were on sale at a Lego store in Europe for a week. Yeah, well, and two in Texas as well, accidentally mm. put them out. Yeah, so. Mm. You know, ev heaps of even the RLFMs had been posting pictures of them and stuff. Yeah. Because I think most of the RLFMs thought that because they were on sale out in store yeah that was safe was, there wasn't going to be a press release yeah. and then all of a sudden we get press releases yeah and this is where i say to people you know particularly if you're you know if you're a youtube person like me that does like builds and reviews and stuff if you buy something and you haven't seen lego do their press release thing for it and you know it's something special be careful because you, you know you can get like copyright strikes you can get your channel taken down in certain circumstances because you choose to do something because you could buy it and you know you should be able to make it and review it because you legitimately bought it yeah bought it from a retailer but you know in cases of embargoes you can get like the double emmy from lego and whoever owns the ip mm, they tried that with jane brooks yeah i know he fought back though yeah, and when I mean fought back, he sent them a very nicely worded letter to that to that effect, and they ended yeah. up sending him an apology. Yeah, 
the thing is is that Jane Bricks is somebody who's you know quite large and respected in the YouTube community in Lego um that you know if you're somebody small I have heard of people that have actually lost their channels over putting out videos on things that they legitimately bought in the store and got absolutely no recourse from Lego or the um, other licensee involved. Oh, well, I think that's pretty tragic in all honesty. Oh, yeah, it was. It was like... Yeah, you're not like, given an option to rectify the yeah, situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just boom, done. Boom, done. Yeah, many, many years of, of work just snuffed out like a click of the fingers. Sucks. Yeah, well, even I'm going to have to say without knowing the circumstances that that seems like pretty poor form, but... Hmm. Like not even... Like, oh, I don't think they were given an option. Oh, if, if you can just take down the videos, that'll be fine. No. And it wasn't It wasn't, it wasn't just Lego. It was... Um, what was it? It was Warner and and DK books. Like, it was over a Lego book, of all things. A Lego book for the Ninjago movie, I think it was. Yeah. Yeah. And it was bought at a retail store. Yeah, it was bought, bought legitimately at Big W. Yeah, major, um, major chain retailer. But not yeah. only that, like a, a regional one as well, not like one in the middle mm -hmm. of the city. Yeah, it wasn't even a metro store. So, you know, if it was a boo-boo, I don't think it was a boo-boo on the part of the people that, you know, made the purchase. But, yeah, um, it's, it's kind of sad that they had absolutely zero recourse. They just thought that, like, with YouTube, three strikes, you're out. So if you get a strike from each player in the game, you're gone. Yeah. I think that's not that's not fair. That's clearly not fair. If you can if you can provide a receipt that says that you bought it at a store, yeah, it there should be. be you can do it. But yeah, there's, there's it, got to be something. It is quite a contentious issue, and it's uh, like I I can understand YouTube taking this like taking the process of well, that's the person that owns the IP. Yeah. Um, they have all you know they have all the rights and the power, but. You know, at the end of the day, you know, the end consumer should have some kind of rights as well. Um, yeah, it's just, just, it's just sad that you know the little little people get trod on, unfortunately. But I'll just say, be careful. That's how the world works, though. Yes, that is how the world works. Oh, we've got a few more in the live chat. We've got, hey, Tambrix, hello. Hey, hey. Hey, hey, uh, hey, Johnny G there earlier. Yeah, Johnny G was there earlier. Martin M's rolled in and Aussie Affol Galador fan. That is a mouthful. Who are you? Obviously a Galador fan. A Galador <laughs> fan. Yeah. You mean they, they they actually exist? Yeah. They do. Oh, I know mouthfuls. One of them is a very good friend of ours. Yes. Wow. You have a nice collection. Who would have thought that, eh? Well, it's that obscure. People like it now. Oh, yeah. It's, one it's of the same things. thing with those, like, awfully bad movies. Uh, they just get this cult, little cult following. It's so bad that they're good. Yeah. Like Sharknado. <laughs> Sharknado. God, they made a second one, too. They're six. number six or seven. Six or seven. Oh, wow. Okay. Movies. They're all direct to DVD and direct to streaming service. They never go to cinema. I'm, I'm actually, out of the Sharknado loop. I just read um, in one of the magazines yesterday that the director or creator of Sharknado is just uh, penned a zombie, zombie NATO, a zombie, zombie tornado. NATO. A zombo, zombie tidal wave movie. Okay. Oh, God. Yeah, I've heard most things. Oh, Ozzy Affle Galador fan says, Yes, haha. My whole collection will be on display at Brick Expo. Haha. Nice. Brick Expo. Where's Brick Expo? Uh, isn't that the Canberra one? I think it is. 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the name of the Canberra one. Is that is that the thing you're going to, Bill? Maybe. Do you know the name of the thing that you're going to, Bill? I should, didn't I? <laughs> I think it's the Canberra. Yeah, show. it is. Look next <laughs> In two weeks. In two weeks to go. You'll have to go say hello. Yes, come say hello to me. I'll, I'll be there. Yeah, I wish I was going. Canberra's on my list. Next year, honey. Next year, he says. I'm afraid to keep sending you the shows. <laughs> what do you mean? I paid for my own thing, thank you. Can't afford to keep sending you to shows. Are you there yet? No, but it feels like I'm missing a couple of pieces. What? You're showing me drill bits. Two so far. Like we've got another bag that you missed. You can't count. Right, let's hope I have four here. Another one that goes there. Another one that goes here. There's another one that goes there, and I can't see any more. First bag. Oh, 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 oh. 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 Aussie Gallad. Uh, Aussie Apple Gallador fan says, I'm the ultimate fan. I may have a Gallador tattoo. Oh, that is hey. cool. Oh, Bill, we must find this person. <laughs> you must find them and you must film them as proof. All right. Challenge accepted? Yeah, let's, let's do that. <laughs> it would be pretty easy if you put all the Gallador stuff. Yeah. Ah, uh, you you get along really well with with our friend Bailey. Yes. Yeah, Michael's Apple says could be worse. At least it's not Jack Stone. <laughs> yeah, I was never a fan of Jack Stone. Nice one. So, um, Aussie, oh Galador, are you a, a Canberra local or are you travelling into the show? Traveling a stupid, crazy 14 hours like I am. Yeah, well, you know, us crazy Lego fans. Yeah. I mean, I, I could have gotten on a plane and, and, and gone to New Zealand and only flown for three hours instead of going on a plane to Perth and going for five and a half hours. Yeah, I reckon. Probably would have cost as much. And you could have got a new passport. Uh, yeah, probably would have cost least, actually. Then I would have had to have gotten you a passport because I don't own one of those. Uh, hi, uh, Pat. What is the go-to website for buying Lego with great prices? Bricklink. Bricklink.com. It's like the eBay for Lego. It's the secondary market. It's, Unless yeah. you find something better, then please tell us. Yes, certainly. Um, there are other oh, sites that on. do similar things if you put things in the wrong places. There are sites that do similar things, yes, but um, Bricklink is probably the most um, prolific, I guess. Did we decide that it was the wrong colour, huh? Yes. Oh. Okay, wow, the black and the um the pearl grey look very similar on the instructions. Mm. Ah. So I put down like the the like the pearl silver. Yeah. In the place where the black grills are supposed uh -huh. to go. You're so special. Yep. I'm your special. Yep, really I'm a special. Special snowflake. <laughs> no, you're not a snowflake. No, no you're just oh, yeah. special. Why do you want to be a snowflake? I don't know. Yes. Um, 
Still the one says stay away from eBay. Yes, I second that motion. Like I say, bricklink.com. Bricklink.com. It is like eBay, but is the Lego secondary market. It's more reasonably priced. You can search by um, countries and, and currencies and all sorts of fun stuff. They have um, FAQs. It is a little bit of a learning curve, but it's not as bad as some places. Very, very addictive. Um, Sorry, what was that, Bill? It's, it's very addictive, BrickLink, and it's currently yes. number two in my favourites tab. <laughs> I just have to type B. Yeah. <laughs> I type B and, and Google goes, you mean Bricklink? I'm waiting on a couple of last-minute Bricklink orders for mm -hmm. Canberra. Mm. So many two-by-two two tiles. Yeah. Yes, so um, as with eBay, Bricklink is made up of a lot of individual stores. Make sure you check their feedback. Make sure you check their splash page and store terms because um, you can be hit by hidden fees sometimes and think that something's really cheap and then you find out that they charge things like uh, lot fees um, and extra charges for packing and all sorts of stuff. Like, yeah, just buyer beware. Mickey says, what do you need, Bill? What do I need? Stuff and things. Um, oh, my, my orders are already in. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, yeah, I think I'm sorted now. I, th I, I think he's saying in case they don't come in. Ah. But I need everything. You can never not need Lego. Yeah. <laughs> I must admit I've been like, I've, I've seriously been on a not building mocking stuff. Like I've built sets this year, but I've not mocked anything. Yeah, and I've barely mocked anything. Barely yeah. mocked anything. I'll have to change that because we've got the multicultural festival next month. I'll have to buy. I'll have to build something for that. Can't be taking sets. That would be unacceptable. I, mean, I can take sets too, but I should mock something. Definitely. Mm. Mocking. Oh. Mm. So the burning question is, is who's seen that <coughs> leak? Yes. Well, I've done, specifically done the rounds today of all my friends. I've studied that leak multiple times today. Yes. Do you think it's legitimate? I I'm think very so. curious about it's the numbers in the top corner. That in English says 16 to collect, and then in the other two languages says 17 and 18 to collect. Mm. Well, why, why, why don't we have 18 to collect? Because I, I'm prepared to learn another language for those last two figures. <laughs> I think I think it's just a case of it's it's from the template that they use for the um the CMF sheets. Mm. Yeah. yeah you, do, do you not think though there is a heck of a lot of custom molds that they probably wouldn't do. Like yeah, the, you, you know, can argue that about the Monster series too. That's true. That, mm. that was a thing. The Xbox controller is the one that's making me suspicious. Yeah. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I was kind of a, a little bit in the same boat. It's just like... Well, it's not very long. It's a lot of new stuff. It's not very long to, oh, yeah, but Lego's been doing a lot of new pieces lately. Mm. We shouldn't be that surprised. Um, that, Even I don't know, maybe, the... maybe it might not be exactly as shown on the pictures, but I think but as far as the minifigures go and their, and their concepts, they look all about exactly what I would expect for the next um, series. I knew that we would see that um, pizza wedge again after the watermelon. Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, I guarantee we'll see it as cheese next. Yeah. <laughs> or or uh, apple apple pie. Cheese or apple pie. Yeah. Can you imagine cheese with, like, a little mouse? That would be cool. That would be cool. Or, uh, yeah. 
I mean, they've done the little mouse enough times that, you know, chick chucking it with a different mini figure in a different colour wouldn't be, you know, out of place. Mm. Wow. As she says, wow. Let's have a look and see what else was in that picture. Um, so they had a gamer guy. It was a, a rugby player. Yeah, see, that one, that seems odd as well. Yeah, some of them seemed... Yeah, but they've had a baseball player before, both with a bat and with a net. So it's about time they had another sport. No, it just... Something you know, about it doesn't seem like that. We've though. had this debate before about, like, leaked images and not being sure, and then they've turned out to be exactly as we've seen them, basically. And then we've had other times where we've been leaked things that are completely... Like, no way would it happen in a million years. What I'm seeing in this list doesn't look that out of place. Really. And if this is this is exactly what we're getting, then I'd be happy with that. Yeah, I, I like the, like, there's quite a few in there I like. Like, the guy mm. with the shower cap and the green rubber ducky in, he, in his bathers. Yeah, uh, you know, there's a lot you can do with that fox. You can't, you can't fault that fox. That fox looks cool. And that the the sausage dog and the doggy nugget, and and even just the green shovel. Yeah, something a bit different. Yeah, but uh, that that's what you want from CMS. You want things that are different from what you find in city or um, any of the other uh, themes. Yeah. Uh, what do we got going on here? Question, Pat asks, are there any sets you wanted but missed out on and are now retired? Uh, everything that's modular prior to the Parisian restaurant, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> oh we've got the pet, uh, shop. pet shop. Yeah. So we don't have we don't have the fire station, we don't have the town hall, we don't have the Grand Emporium. Um, what else have we got that we don't have? Um, Cafe Corner, Green Grocer. Cafe Corner, Green Grocer. So, like, we swore to ourselves we would not go back in time and spend, ex you know, excessive money, especially after we went through the process of getting Series 1 of the minifigures because, you know, we decided we would start collecting them and getting all of them, which meant going backwards in time, and that was an expense. And once we did that once, it was like, no, we're not doing that again. Um, what about you guys? Yeah, mine... I didn't collect CMFs enough. I, I've collected them right from Series 1, but I didn't collect enough of them. I find that I don't have enough to display or utilise in my city and stuff. Um, I wish I'd done some of them more. Uh, but other than that, during, I guess, my dark years, there was about 10 years there where I didn't buy anything while I was busy having kids and stuff, and uh, most of that I, I missed. Um, but... Biggest regret is I sold off all my original Star Wars Lego to Fun City Lego, and I wish I hadn't done that. I do regret not getting the Tumblr. So I wanted yeah, to use Yeah, he Tumblr. regrets that all the time. It, it seems the price seems to have stabilised on that at about mm. 400 so yeah. yeah. Which is only $50 above its retail, so mm. it doesn't feel too bad. I just have to have, say a quick hello to Brick Songs and Kongman27. Hello, Paul. Brick Songs is a name I haven't heard in a while. Oh, Brick Songs pops in from time to time. Primal Gaming says Brick Pals has a full list of the expected lineup. But yeah, with the CMS, it, it's it's not it's not out of place to see information leak at this time. Not that we any of us here um, support the idea of leaking stuff, but. When people ask about stuff, you know, you kind of I have to people address it. And interested yeah. about it. I just have to state for the record that I cannot condone leaks given that I'm a recognized Lego fan media. And I have to say the exact same thing because I'm a deputy ambassador that I cannot condone leaks. But at the same time, um, I, I, you know, if people want to know about things, then I'm okay with discussing in very general broad terms. I'm sort of slightly of the opinion of the, are leaks actually leaks or are they sort of part of the promotion? I don't think they do it on purpose. I think 
as with anything, there are oopses from time to time. Yeah. And some of them would probably be genuine oopses, but is some of them a genuine... Oh, let's just feed this out to the, the masses. Are you thinking that they, they do it to get feedback to find yeah. out, you know, whether, yeah. Well, they're investing millions of dollars into I this think by that lines. point in time, though, it's like, you know, it's already well into development, about to go out into the shop. So I don't think it, you know, will make maybe it's difference. to get an idea of what sort of yeah numbers they need to have. Okay, what are we missing? What are we missing? I know who that is. Just me. Um. Oh yeah, what are we talking about? Are there more CMS? Um, there's usually two releases of CMS in a year. Three, isn't it? Or three. 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 I think January, one January, oh yeah, January, May, May and September. September. So seeing as we're like towards the end of July and start of August, this is usually the this time cool, that information oh, starts coming out. New to me. So you probably find yeah. that this has only preempted it by a week or two, if anything. There's corner bricks. I've never haven't seen Interesting. these before. New pieces. Yep. Yeah, cool. Okay, what's going on? Oh, Kongman27 says, you remember this time? Cool, yes, I remember you, Paul. You just caught me unawares the last one. Um, what is it? Uh, Primal Gaming says, my three biggest missets are the UCS, ISD, SSD, and DS2. Uh, Imperial Star Destroyer, Super Star Destroyer, and the Death Star. There we go, Death Star version 2. Kongman says, I want that Dem Excavator to be released. You and everyone else who likes Technic. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Start saving your pennies because it's Yeah, expensive. it's going to be expensive. Probably um, the most expensive Technic set to date. Okay. Um, Primal yeah, Gaming. I think, I think we've already covered Primal Gaming's question. But Lego Lego has a very, like, they, they don't like leaks being shared, um, especially images. Um, but, yeah, I draw, I draw the line at... <laughs> I tried to draw the line that we, we can talk about rumours and discuss things and what we, you know, want, want and stuff like that, but I try not to discuss leaks unless it's a direct, like, you know, somebody asks a question, I'll either, you know, confirm or deny that it's out there and that you should find it yourself. So you won't see me sharing any images here because that's inappropriate. Um... Lego selling the treehouse at Comic Con by mistake is a mistake. Oops, not a leak. Yes, that was a very different circumstance. Yes, mm. um, very big oops. Uh, Aussie Afol Galador fan says my biggest miss is the sealed Galador set Tega. Okay. Imperial flagship for me. Imperial flagship. That is a nice set. I'm probably a bit sad that I also didn't get the helicarrier either. You have parts of the helicarrier? Or oh, I have parts oh, of the helicarrier. Yeah, uh, I have the, 16 plate. No. the printed tiles with the yeah. little dot, dot, dot down the middle. <laughs> Those are expensive. I purely didn't buy the helicarrier because I didn't like the micro figures. Yeah. I think that was one of the first like big sets that released micro figures as standard before you, you know, your Harry Potter and all that sort of stuff. And yeah, and I was like, no, nope, not doing that Lego. And then now they're doing that. Yeah. Just keep doing it. Cause people keep buying them. Uh, Mickey three CS asks, can I ask what people do with the boxes from sets? Does anyone keep them? And we actually Sorry, discussed this earlier. Funny enough. Most of us. Yeah. Most of us goes into the recycling and it. Every so often, I just go, oh, so you're the people with the Lego. And we're like, no, we're not. We do keep the boxes from... Idea, idea sets, sets, usually. Yeah, not all of them necessarily. Uh, I don't think we kept Bang Theory, for example. No. Yeah, I can't remember if we kept that one. Hmm. <laughs> Kongman27 says, burn them. Wah-ha-ha-ha-ha. Yeah, that's not good for the environment. I, um, I recycle them with the instructions. I We've keep been... the idea sets as well and anything over 200 bucks. But I uh, flatten them. We I used flat... to keep 
we used to keep the expensive sets, but then those big boxes take up a lot of space. Yeah, we did hang on to the docks and the. Have we still got the docks and the. No, nah, I think we ended up tossing a lot because I was like, I need space. Poof. Yeah, it's cardboard. You're right. Um, the only thing is, like, with some of the bigger boxes, they're actually designed to be as, like, storage. So, oh, that's the only, probably the only other cardboard box that I've kept is the really, really special Christmas um, set that they gave yeah, that was... out to staff and ambassadors last year. Um, yeah, that box was very designed to put everything back into it. Yes, yes. It's specifically designed for, for the stuff to go back into it. I thought that was a very interesting idea. Yeah, yeah, it's very cool. Um, Mickey three CS asks, "Do you flatten them? Does it add value to your collection?" Um, boxes generally, it, at the end of the day, um, if you're the kind of person that likes and enjoys uh, collecting boxes, great, do that, fantastic. Um, but at the you know, at the end of the day, most people aren't interested in boxes unless they're wanting to resell something. So if you're thinking of selling something in future, maybe a box would be a good idea if it's something that gets quite old. Only because, you know, most of those boxes will get thrown out by that point. But otherwise... Or deteriorated. Yeah, or deteriorated. Otherwise, a box is only worth something if it's still sealed. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, that, that's about it in a nutshell. If it's not a sealed box, it's recycling. Because once you like collect more than i don't know 10 or 20 of them they just take up too much space doesn't even matter if you flatten them they take up so much space and like i thing, such a box hoarder too the other thing too is so many people buy big sets and tuck them away for one day in the future that you're going to be competing with them if you ever want to resell yeah. it anyway yeah so you might as well buy it for your own enjoyment not for resale yeah um, because you know, during the whole Legos worth more than gold debacle, no, no. a lot of people started buying yeah. and selling away. Yeah. Leave, leave the um, investing to the people who want to just invest and aren't, you know, like if you're a Lego person, you enjoy building your Lego. My advice is do what we're doing, don't build up a big pile of shame, build it because you're going to learn how to, um, you know, learn techniques and stuff like that. And this one's got heaps of cool stuff in it. I'm wondering how the slidey thing's going to go. Mm. Yeah, that I'll is one out. of the features that's a bit different. Mm. I'll out soon. I don't, I don't know much about the, the, the Easter eggs in this set. I guess you'll find them. Yeah. Looking yeah. Who's that. excited? Uh, Brick Song says, I've kept a few ideas boxes to store things in. Yeah, I find the ideas boxes also are uh, um, quite well made. Like the um, quality of them yeah. seems to be a bit higher because they're, you know, aimed at adult market, generally speaking. Primal Gaming says, I love with the modulars, not looking too deeply into the features and discovering what this or that widget does. That's a good way to approach it. Yeah, I haven't watched any. I don't think I've watched any videos. On... I think I've watched the designer video on this, but it was so long ago mm. now. They're just supporting me tonight. Oh, poor Widdoms. Now, how is your watch going to know how excited you are about this set? You can do it from a distance. <laughs> but also, oh, the, the watch band is, I think, is just an odd size from my wrist. Oh, aren't you special? <laughs> it's either one too tight or one too loose. Johnny G. Needed an in between. Johnny G. I need one of those too. We'll be vague now. One, I need 30. <laughs> I need enough for a zoo. Interesting colours going on in this set too. Mm. Dark green. green. Yeah, dark green going. Oh, wow. 
That's what? cool. A time has a, machine. Has a twisty thing. Pro mounting machine. That's cool. Ah, oh, it's a thingy. Yeah. The thingy for mm -hmm. your thingy. Thingy, thingy, thingy. I'm just taking tires off the rooms and putting new tires on. <laughs> Primal Gaming says, I wanted to make a zoo, but a, a lot of it is large open space. So we really need a bit of area to build in. Absolutely. I've I've seen a few people like build zoos um for like you know traveling displays and stuff like that. Sometimes you kind of have to play with the scale a little bit and make it a bit smaller than what you would think it would comfortably be a zoo enclosure. Uh, just for the sake of not, you know, making this huge area of just one animal. Yeah, I, I did mine on 32 by 32 base plates. I mm. think I got about six exhibits in and then realised, hang on, this is going to be massive. Yeah. I put it on a shelf and that was two years ago. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's one of those things where it's 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 a nice concept to try, but um, to do it in the scale that it should be, yeah, you're right. It'd be way too huge. Uh, what do we got? Um, yeah, ah, but think of the plastic animals. Why don't somebody think of the plastic animals? That's our little tire fitting machine. Ah, yes, tire fitting cool. machine. Um, Pat asked, do any of you have an opinion on the micro-scaled Hogwarts castle set? Looks cool. Uh, yeah. I can't. It's Looks hard cool. to justify the price for the us. The price is a bit, eh. Which is, you know, fine. If you are a fan and must have all the things, then, yeah, go buy it. But if you're just a, um, you know, casual uh, enjoyer of the Harry Potter world, and maybe it'd be not fun to build, but yeah, yeah I, I would I would ask a friend who's buying it whether you can build it, you know, after they've built it and just enjoy the build. build it for them. Yeah, build it for them. I've heard of that. That's a thing. Have you heard that's a thing, Bill? Yeah, I have actually. <laughs> uh, cool. Actually, it does look like a good build. I. I like, I wouldn't buy it because I don't even know what Harry Potter is, but the actual castle itself, I've seen it at the LCS and it doesn't look too bad. As a, oh, yeah, uh, I've seen it put together. As a build. Yeah, as a build is cool. Uh, question for you, Dan. Hey, Dan, were you at the Christchurch Brick Show? Some really good displays there from what I could see on Facebook. Uh, yes, I was at Christchurch Brick Show. Uh, and yes, there was actually some pretty decent stuff there this year. Mm -hmm. um, three of my fellow Well Lug members managed to take out three of the awards. Oh, oh. nice. Pretty cool. Uh, big show um, using a whole arena this time. <clears throat> a lot more mocks than there was last year. Um, still reasonable amounts of set collections and set integrated layouts and stuff mm. but uh, a definite improvement on last year and i think the thing with new zealand lugs is a lot you know our lugs and our shows are newish they haven't been going for 10 plus years like others yeah. and it takes time for people to to migrate from those set collections to those Modded, yeah. modded layout to yeah. full blown mocks. So, like, um, not not a lot of shows can start off like at you know that higher standard that you might have seen at other shows. So I know I know one of my friends from um, Queensland went over. He's a Kiwi. He went over to Christchurch and is like, "Oh, I was disappointed." It's like, dude, what did you expect? Have you been to any other shows at all? And he's like, "Oh no, I've only been to ours." It's like. Well, you can't judge what another country does or another, you know, city does based on what your local does. That's not fair. 
everyone does their own thing at their own levels. And, you know, I saw the pictures from Christchurch and I want to go. What was he disappointed about? Um, well, see, where we are and the group of people that we exhibit with, um, we're expected to do large-scale diorama style which is fine and well, it fills a lot of space and it looks good. And a lot of our exhibitors have been doing this for like mm, seven years now. So, you know, the, the quality level is, you know, the bar is set really high. Even if you're a newbie, they are very, very strict. And, um, yeah, so like he's using that high bar as his, um, you know, his yardstick for what he expected to show. And but I looked through a lot of the, the photos that came through from Christchurch and it looks like an awesome show. I would love it. Um but you know mm. this, this this that said this guy hasn't been to Brickvention. Brickvention has stuff that's like this small. Mm. Yeah you know, this small. So when you say you do large layouts, how sort of large are you talking about? Uh like you know two six foot tables minimum. Yeah. Okay, so did he walk around with his eyes closed? Because clearly, well, yeah, clearly there was some pretty big stuff. So there was a massive fairground, which was yeah. about six tables. Um, there's the, a scale yeah. model of the Christchurch pier, which is about yeah. 10 meters long. Like, yeah. Wow, that's huge! Okay. Hang on, hang on. Uh, uh, Ryan has, has appeared. Hello, Ryan. Do you have voice? Uh, yeah, I think I have voice. Yay! Okay. Continue, Maybe. Dan. Um, there was a battle for Scarif Mock, which was about 12 tables. And I saw that. And the I wings of it yeah. stood uh, around 10 feet tall. Yeah. Um, I know. There, there I, was I, some pretty I, was, I was disappointed by his comment, to be honest. And if he's Dale watching stuff. this, then, you know, he knows who he is. Yeah. Maybe he needs to look at things with a little bit more detail because there were some pretty amazing mocks by some very young builders. Yeah. Uh, um, show Dan where the the castle run appeared. Or was that the one before? Castle run or the um. I, I don't know some Star Wars thing. Oh, there's always Star Wars. I saw the Star Wars one when they actually had the super star destroyer and yeah. stuck into the. That was amazing. Mm. I saw yeah. That. So. You, that one was built by uh, a guy in our club called Anthony Ducre. And what it was, was it's actually like a snippet of the Death Star surface, and it's a trench run. And he yeah, set that's... it up with um, nine, uh, 12 volt, nine volt, the electric train, so that your phone sits in a carriage that chases the X-Wing. Oh, down this Death Star yeah. trench, and you can video it, and it goes right round in a big loop, and then on the outside of the of the trench, where the detail sort of comes up and over the side, you've actually put vignettes of the Star Wars saga down the front and the back. Um, massively detailed that you just can't see in pictures. Yeah, it has to be one of the best builds I've ever seen. Well, yeah. it, it got blogged by Brothers Brick or Beyond, Beyond the Brick. Brick. Beyond the Brick. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was Beyond the Brick. And their video's been viewed over a million times on Facebook. Yeah, yeah. I was actually quite so I thought it was um a US based build, but when I saw it at Christchurch, I'm like, what? It's actually yeah. a New Zealand build? Yeah. Yeah. No. There, there are, uh, I'm I'm like I, I my <laughs> my next step is I want to try and get to a New Zealand show. It's just a case of price. And cost and passports and fun. Hey, look, I'm not going to – I'm a little bit biased, but I've been to shows in Australia, and I think New Zealand is getting there. Yeah. Um, well, given that your population is a bit smaller, you know, it's to be expected that the development of it and the cost of Lego in New Zealand and all that sort of stuff slows things down a little bit. Oh, absolutely. You know, we don't have access to pick a brick walls yet. That might change this year. Oh, it's going it to change, baby. It's going to change. Yeah. yeah. Um, some, most of our lugs are also less than five years old. Yeah. So the hobby community in New Zealand has come a hell of a long way in the small amount of time oh, yeah. that Look. it's been operating. 
I, I'm I'm so so much a supporter of you guys over there, and you know, I, I'm loving what I'm seeing. Like, I wish that I I could physically be there. I mean, you know, I've got enough rallies over there. I could probably go and find places to stay, even without having to, you know, bunk on Apple, you know, couches or whatever. Mm. Yeah, I don't think you'd be too disappointed. Yeah, I, th I think my parents want to do a New Zealand trip next year, so I might tag in on that. Like, you need to save for New Zealand too. I'm like, yeah, baby. Yeah, well, we have – there's a lot of choice now. Mm. There's a lot of choice and reasonably well spread throughout the year. Yeah. So, yeah, it's definitely, definitely, definitely on the cards, that's for sure. Oh, that's cool. I'll be vlogging uh, that um, Scarif one tomorrow, actually. Oh, cool. I just got the story and the pictures through tonight. Yeah. Oh, I suppose I should say, hello, Ryan. Hello. You, you came in the middle of us having a big discussion. That's all right. That's why I came. He's like, nobody will notice I'm here. I'll just sit here quietly. That was the plan. <laughs> What's you doing tonight? Anything? Sorting. Sorting. Sorting is an important job. Sorting is monstrosity. I'll be back. And and I'm going to ask ask the question that I already know the answer to. Have you made progress on Christmas 2.0? Uh yes, kind of, but not really noticeable. So not I've really noticeable. I see something changed. behind you that's new. Oh, yeah, I forgot that. <laughs> see, I don't remember stuff. Yeah, I'm your memory. So I'll whip this up during the week. I know what this lady thing does. Yeah. I'm going to stay my Ooh. Oh, the cash. <laughs> Merry Christmas. That's my Merry Christmas sign. That's some nice lettering work. Uh. Oh, truly. That is That's awesome. very cool. I couldn't even tell that it was Lego when it was up on the shelf, actually. I thought it was a sign. No, it's yeah. Lego. It's all Lego. It's all Lego. Very well done. I watch it in different stages of it being done. I'm like, yeah, that kind of looks like something. He's like, wait until I get more pieces. Then you'll see. I ran out of pieces. Um, And I did an ice sculpture, which I'll go grab in a minute. <laughs> yeah. Mickey says, Brian keeps boxes. Boxes? He sees boxes in your cupboard. <clears throat> I, think they're oh. I think they're still full of Lego, Mickey. Yes. Oh, except for the occasional ones like... Actually, that's still got Lego in it anyway. Uh... Stuff like that that I'm not going to get rid of the box. Um, but that model is currently on display at the Victoria Park Library. Nice. So it'll be nice once I get that back home. Yes. And for anyone who's new here, Ryan is from Western Australia. Oh, Dan, Dan, this is Ryan. You may have seen his face once. Yeah, I think we, we streamed together before once. Yeah, yeah, very briefly. It was brief, yeah. <laughs> Nice to properly meet you, Ryan. Yes. I'll make it over there eventually, one day. One day. Oh, just be prepared for disappointment. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, apparently. But, but see, see, Ryan is not a figment of my imagination. He is a real boy. Oh, I'm just a cardboard cutout that she made. <laughs> I'm actually just in her spare room and she's like pulling strings to make my mouth move. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Oh, Ingrid Wynn, good morning. Could you make more noise? We are not an ASMR stream. All right, I'm leaving then. And if you think this is ASMR, you're doing it all wrong. I can make more noise than it. Yeah, I know. Oh, yes, I can. It's supposed to do it slowly. 
I'm on time crunch. Yeah, okay. Uh, Mickey says, Dan, your video quality is fantastic. That's because he has the lighting. <laughs> yeah, the lighting a camera made by an Aussie. Full HD cam. Yeah, it's all the good stuff. That's oh, been a lot, mate. It's got to look good, otherwise people don't bother watching. Exactly. Stephen Reynolds is in the chat. He's not feeling well, um, so I'm sorry. Okay. There will be no banter with Ryan and Stephen tonight. You'll oh, poor excuse. Live without it. Poor, poor excuse. <laughs> Ryan's like, you're assuming I'll be here? Yes. Yeah. It also makes tonight PG-13. I know. Hang on. No, Ryan's here. I'll do my best, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> what, what is it normally? Depends uh, right on who's Steve here. Or as hell ain't that? I'm sure we usually border into MA15 plus. At least. Yeah. Until midnight on Friday. Then it gets real bad. I don't think we even make it to midnight on Friday Not anymore. anymore. I don't. We used to. I, I think I just need to accept that this is an adult stream. <laughs> Steve says, haha, I keep it at a solid M. <laughs> mm. I love how he is having an influence from the chat. How <laughs> are you? Finished bags one, on to bags two. Oh, he's finished bags one, onto bags two, and he didn't announce it. How bad. People busy chatting. How rude. Uh, question for Ryan. Is the shuttle on display as part of the 50th anniversary celebrations? Uh, no, it's just a display that was organised by, um, I think it was from WA Brick Society and John from Bricktastic Blog. So they decided to put on a display at the Victoria Park Library. And I thought, what better thing to put on than my space shuttles? So I've got that, a city space shuttle, and my um, women of NASA. Nice. One of these days I'm going to make that set. I also have the box for. Pretty sure I haven't made that set. Beep, beep. Um, what we got? Da, da, da. Ingrid Wynn says, I don't know names, but the red wall with the red Lego sign looks great. What is the red? What is the wall made of real Lego? No, I uh, that's you, Dan. No, the wall's just a normal but painted jib wall. Uh, the Lego oh, sign is actually a frame. Oh, the frame is just this is just an overlay that sits within my broadcasting software. Um, but my sign is a genuine sign from a, a Lego store. Actually, not from a Lego store, from a retail store. Retail store. Uh, Mickey 3CS asks Bill, what are you displaying in Canberra? Uh, in Canberra, I am displaying a fish tank, an aquarium on two 48 by 48 base plates. So quite a large tank. <laughs> Something different for me because I normally only ever do city. So it will be a first non mini pig scale mock for me. But nice. Putting the finishing touches on. Um, I think it'll also be going to prevention next year as well because I'm pretty happy with it. So, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, Mickey says this is a saltwater aquarium. Um, yeah, with some of the some of the things in there, definitely would have to be. <sighs> Coolio. Yeah. Uh, we got the uh, we've got the inevitable question, boys and girls. Will any of you try to get on Lego Masters? I could tell you, but 
then I'd have to kill you. It's a definite no for me. He's not. Yeah, that, that's an easy way to answer that question. The no from me because they don't accept New Zealanders. <laughs> Does anyone accept New Zealanders? Ha! Oh, wow. Oh, I've been missing you, Dan. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm half New Zealand. I'm allowed to make that joke. <laughs> no from me as well. I kid, I kid. Does that make me New Zealand by marriage? <laughs> yeah, you must be, Sean. Yeah. yeah, I mean, he's got a sheep name. <laughs> hey, he's a pretty cool sheep. Yeah, he is a pretty cool sheep. Actually, he's much cooler than you. Oh, but... <laughs> Don't! No, 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 no. Build your Lego! It's my Lego now, is it? <laughs> no! I meant build the Lego. Build the Lego, yes. Yes, yes, sure. that's Mine. it. You heard it. The uh, garage is mine. <laughs> yeah, that'll stand up in divorce court. <laughs> I, I, I got proof. <laughs> what? Video proof. Video proof. <laughs> Delete. <laughs> oh, Pat says, by the answer, I think Aussie Bricks is on for next season. Um, I do not know the answer to that, and that is an honest answer. <laughs> Uh, Shieldy one says, "Did people see what the misposted image for Lego Masters USA saying it was from the UK when it was from Australia? Well, the image was an Australian image that <coughs> referred to the UK. The, but they were claiming that the contestants were UK, were, were contestants. UK contestants when it was Australian contestants because it was a picture of Maddie. I think Americans have trouble telling us in the UK apart anyway. Yeah." Uh, Steve goes, lol, what half? Uh, the Kiwi half is, depending on on who you are, um, Dan, it's the better half. Australians, it's, it's yeah. <laughs> have, have I made up for my retort earlier yet? And Dan's like, mm -mm. <laughs> don't know you anymore. No, oh, Dan's never coming back. <laughs> oh, we got to kiss and make up, Dan. Oh, I don't know about that. I'll have to oh, ask maybe not the kiss part, but make up at least. You'll only kiss your New Zealand half. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 Brian's trying to something. I'm just eating my dinner, so I thought I'd give you a better view than me eating. Oh, yeah, that's but fair. Since you mentioned it, I might as well show this. Oh, the ice sculpture. Oh, yes. Really doesn't show up too well on camera. Cameras never do mocks justice. No. So, yeah. But it's just a half finished ice sculpture of a uh, deer. Concept is really awesome. That is yeah, so cool. I'm used to that. Did you say it was my idea? No, this was Cherie's idea. Because <laughs> for anybody who doesn't realize, we're collaborating. Yeah, that's what they call it. She is remotely collaborating with my hands and my parts. Yeah, I that's that it. so wrong. Steve, be quiet. <laughs> It's <laughs> very, very wrong. And I also changed the ice skating rink. So it's got a better gradient now instead of that crazy blue line. Ah, uh, yeah. And I put the, water. the fish and crab. a crab under the water. That's cool. That's so nice. the water actually gets deeper now rather than just appearing to be deeper. Yeah, you don't want to know how, how, how much that was effort, eh? Yeah. I'm glad it was your fingers, not mine. It was not so easy. Uh, it was effort. Yeah. I think I said that a few times. Yes. Effort. 
Yes. And that, that the the deciding how how exactly to pull everything that you pull everything apart that you'd already put together. Yeah. And trying to pull it apart and still keep the surrounding around here, so I didn't have to remake it again. That was not so easy. Mm. You did well though. Looks good. Yeah. But again, I'm biased because you're my friend. Yeah. <laughs> Again, it looks better in the flesh than it does on camera. Yeah, yeah. The camera doesn't pick it up as well. No, yeah. Hmm. Probably when we can stream in 4K then it'll probably pick it up quite well. Yeah. Ingrid says, ooh, Ingrid. I like that sculpture. The ice sculpture? Yes. It turned out really well in the end. I'm yeah. quite pleased with it. I just don't like the fact that the um, glitter trans light blue is sort of, it's got a matte finish to it rather than the gloss. Yeah. So, Whereas the bricks are shinier. Yeah. But it just gives it a sort of carved sort of look. Yeah. Ingrid says, wow, I love that. It looks great. I could learn a lot from you guys. Yeah. You should see it when he um, has the motors going. Oh, is, is anyone prepared to with the noise? Yeah, we'll put up with the noise. Right. Is it in the right position? I can't really see from here. Yeah, we can, yeah, we can see all the mini pigs. Ah, oh, you're just too ridiculously clever. I can't do anything with motors. No, I'm not great at it. I think with enough practice, I could, but yeah, I could have practice and the parts to practice with. That reminds me, muted himself while it was going. Yeah, it, thanks, it's Brian. rather loud. I don't know what comes through on the camera, but it's rather loud. Yeah. It wasn't overly loud at our end. The only person that complained is my brother, and uh, yeah. Oh, well. Yeah. I apologise to anybody else whose ears were hurt by that. Ingrid also said, Lego from the USA, but don't watch television, so don't know much about the new program. We have plenty of people who are apples. That is correct. If you go to YouTube and look up Lego Masters Australia, you will find, um, like, short snippets of some of the stuff that was on the program. So, um... I know of some people over in America who have um, put their names down for um, applications for Lego Masters, so it'll be interesting to see who actually makes it on. Has anyone found a decent site to watch the UK version? Yeah. Legitimate. Just go, um, right, do you want me to bring it over for you? Right. Yes, <laughs> sure. Maybe we'll share that link later. <laughs> uh, Primal Gaming says your um your motion your motors and stuff sounded a lot quieter when you first turned it on before you muted it. Did you add some dampening? Um, I added the reinforcing underneath, reinforcing. the technical reinforcing, which sort of held it smoother. Um, like held it straighter sorry yeah because it was really loud when you yeah. first put everything together so all because of just the way the lego is it was slightly curved when it was on before so that was putting a lot of stress on stuff and also i think last time you saw it it was going the opposite way so i reversed the motor yeah okay so, being in Western Australia, I'm going to eat my dinner now. Yes. Yes. You can enjoy just watching this in my muted glory. <laughs> muted glory. Funny. Ingrid <laughs> says it's funny that one guy fell down. <laughs> yeah. It's a nice. So this is like just one module. Okay, we'll, we'll click off Ryan for now. 
Um, Fieldsy One says, I hear people from the UK are hoping that Channel 4 would do their Lego Masters like like Australia did. Yeah, Australia sort of um, did change the format quite a bit from what I've seen from the UK version. They spiced it up. Oh, fun. Yeah, I think having no um, no kids made a big difference. Not not that yeah. kids aren't talented builders, but just for an entertainment. But point keeping of view. the kids to like old teenagers, early twenties, rather than like twelve year olds. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So I think that doesn't allow for a level playing. I think if they're going to have a kids competition, it should be just kids. Pilot, yeah. yeah, it shouldn't be kids pitted up against adults, no matter how talented the kids are. Because at the end of the day, you know, it, filming schedule is, it can be quite grueling. Very. The kids have, can have a, well, do have a different stamina level to adults and different patience levels and... And Primal Gaming says, if we spice it up here, imagine what the US will do. They will ruin it. Well, they do everything bigger and grander, don't they? <laughs> they will do something, they will muck it up. <laughs> I hope not. Um, yeah, um, I apparently heard from one of my friends who was filling out the application form on the weekend that asked for your team name. So... I don't know whether they're going to follow through with that being a thing in the actual competition that you're like hashtag team, you know, whoever, like you have like a nickname instead of just the names of the contestants. It'll be interesting. Yes, 12 weeks is a long time to miss school. Yep. No oh, money on the counter. Well, that's what's not going on. Yeah, the register in this is pretty cool. So I just finished the register. No, Aussie Apple Galador fan asks, "Does anyone on here own a Galador set?" No, but I know someone who owns several. Yeah, not and, me. And he's a very lovely person, and his name is Bailey. Yeah, and I think he owns a full set. In box and a full set out of box. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Where he's pretty close to a full set in box. <coughs> the old star register is pretty cool. This So, click the old style register. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Even with the, the little handle, mm -hmm. the handle on the side. So we definitely are throwing some nice details into it. Oh, wow. That is looking nice, mm. she says. She hasn't been paying a lot of attention while you're building. Even just the, the detail that they put into the little corners over here, near the stairs. Mm. They're using the, the little inset. The Technic plate. Oh. To add a bit of a little rounded edge and then a sharp edge. That's nice. So it is pretty cool. <laughs> oh, my darling brother. Can't wait for mum and dad to move. They are going to have a Lego shed and a Lego room too. How's that going to benefit you? 
Oh, I can I can't wait for them to move too because I might get some of my garage back for garage things. <laughs> uh, when, when you have things crated, they take up a lot of space and we're not in you know in that that moment of time where you're just like let's just disassemble everything. It's still going to take up space anyway. Absolutely. Now, what have I missed? Well, it'd probably make it easier for packing up for shows as well if it's all in one place. Well, that's why I have a dedicated Lego trailer, as you know. I'd like to have a de dedicated Lego trailer, but we just don't have space where we live. My like problem is car in our place. I have to unload the trailer just to get one thing out. <laughs> thinking, do I really need to get it out or should I just brick link another one? That's <laughs> my <laughs> problems. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just read a comment from Ingrid. She says, I'm not good enough to be on Lego Masters. I'm fairly new to the Lego community only since December. That doesn't yeah. mean you're not good enough. No, I'm it good. does not. Absolutely not. Because, um, yeah, I, I think you're a little bit new to my channel. Uh, um, I'm no good at building sets. Like, I'm terrible, aren't I? Mm -hmm. Terrible, terrible. I should not be allowed near instructions at all. Um, I can mock. Okay. But um, it makes it difficult to learn these skills that you learn from building stuff if you can't follow instructions. So... Never say that you're not good enough because anyone can build build up a set of skills given enough Lego and time to do it. So, oh, you know, it's all about practice. It's all about, you know, your motivation really to learn stuff and, and better yourself because, you know, at the end of the day, it's reality television. Why are there two bills? Oh man, we got like Bill Sipson. Bill Sipson. Oh my god. I yes, don't know. Steve, Steve, Steve put it perfectly. You can learn as you go, Ingrid. Yes, yes. And um, <laughs> I know on the Australian version this year, there was at least like there was a grandma that was on there that you know you could clearly see she was out of her depth, but she learnt quite a bit in the week that they were there. So, um. Yeah, not always. Sponge. Can that's you see Bill's this second mini screen? Hey. Can you? Oh, that's all oh, Bill, sir. <laughs> it, it, yeah, I was saying it's not always about your ability to build. So long as you can click bricks together and you have, you know, a head for being able to, you know, think of stories and stuff like that. There's room for everyone. I say just give it a go. Like, what have you got to lose? Absolutely. Seriously. Got nothing to lose, everything to gain. Yep. You know? Some people I know can get on Lego Masters. Anybody can. Oh, that's a cool print on the door handle. Mmm. There's a doggy paw. On the, on the one by one. On the, on the, on the, on the. How about you let me click on our face first? Now show them. This is a little doggy paw print on the handle. I think mean, that's so cute. So cool. what next year's module is going to be. Yeah, we won't have to wait too much longer to find out, I guess. We're no. getting to the back end of the year, which is crazy. I know, it's going too fast. Yeah. We're not ready for this. Uh, Mickey's asking, do you know the size of the truck for prevention yet, ABC? No, because Donna doesn't know 
how many boxes and what size because she's too busy finishing planning her wedding. I don't know. Priorities. Yeah, Is it too good. much to ask? We got married in six weeks. Eight. Eight, was it? Yeah, okay. it was eight. <laughs> eight. Wedding planned and executed in eight weeks. He almost says six again. Like, who are you? Obviously not me. I'm an imposter. Yep, yep. So I suppose the big question is, Mickey, are, are you going to bring a display? Have you applied to go to the convention? Who said executed? Oh, he said execute. Yeah, <laughs> Steve's saying that's probably a no no word. Probably. Oh, oh. oh, we love saying all the no no words, but I haven't had anything demonetized yet. Um, it probably is going to be a Lego wedding, I'm guessing, considering the bride and groom are both into Lego. And my brother doesn't know. Oh, I don't know my brother's box sizes yet either. Ah, uh, Mickey's coming to party, not to display. That's okay. You put your put what? Depending on how long you're going down for, you should put your name down as a volunteer, and then you get in on convention day for free. <gasps> I did not say that out loud. But if you don't, convention day is still worth it. I did it last year, so worth it. Yes. It's only what about a hundred bucks for the convention day or something? Yeah, but it gets you access all weekend as well. Yeah, yeah, and you get all the goodies. Mm. Yeah, you get the um, shirt and the everything. And you can book in for the the special stuff that goes on. Primal Gaming asks, "When is it again?" Um, hang on. I'm like, Second, where uh, is my calendar? January. Hang on, don't yeah. say things so randomly. Um. 18th and 19th. Should have known yeah, that. that. You, you were saying that. Right? Yes, it's a certain person's birthday. Oh, then. yes. It's, God damn it. It's my brother's birthday. It's the only reason why you're going, isn't it, Adam? I guess these snoozers are getting ridiculous. What snoozers? Snoozers? Sneezes. What are you saying, Douglas? Maybe it's sneezes. I have no I think, idea. I think he's just woken up from a nap and uh, missed the start of the stream. Oh, sneezes. Okay. Ah, Steve's asking what, what size of the box flaps. <laughs> Big. Oh, dear. <laughs> No, I'm not. Go on. <laughs> Steve's well, not here to say stuff, so you might as well be frog slaps. Oh my god. Ha! <laughs> They're it. called doors. Gold. I was thinking about hang on, this is gonna get taken the wrong way. Yes. See, this is a difference. He stops and thinks about it before it comes out of his mouth. I just say it and everyone goes, do you know what you just said? And I'm like, what? Uh, Mickey asks, as a volunteer, do you need to be there earlier? Not sure if I can get out of work. Things might be forced to go down and back on the weekend. Um, I, I think your best to look at the, the volunteer form will be out shortly if it isn't already. Okay. I think it's volunteer. August. Yeah. So maybe just have a look and see what the form says. Uh, I can't speak specifically, but I did say to the organisers that QLAG would have some people that may want to volunteer. You don't have to volunteer for the whole time. That's kind of the point. Does anyone want to pay for me to come over? <laughs> no? Okay. Are you looking at me? <laughs> Do you want me to mow lawns so that you can come to Rickvention? I don't know if it works like that, but sure. 
How far is your drive from there to Melbourne? My drive? Because ours is 24 hours. Yeah, mine's, I think, three days. Oh, okay, you win. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, me and, me and Declan Googled it and just out of curiosity how long it would drive, take us to drive there. It was 42 hours of driving. That's not taking into account of stops and staying overnight. It's physically driving the car. Where, where's that? What, Western Australia? Yeah, from Sunshine Coast to Perth was 42 oh. hours of driving time. Yeah, don't ask me why. He just looked up for shits and giggles. Mm, Declan asked. Oh, I think... Oh, was it? <laughs> Somebody said something about, yeah, you'd have to start walking now. <laughs> like, I'm not walking a path. That's why I bought flights. Thank you very much. 3,450 Ks from Melbourne to Perth. Eesh. Wow. So about 500 more than us. Yeah. Yeah, it's as far as from here. It doesn't look like it should be that far, but it is. I think it's about two and a half. Uh, my brother's saying, you need to road trip, Ryan. Rick Fenton has a serious lack of Christmas. Oh, yeah. Nick's going to be there. Hey? Oh, that's one. One. One thing that is Christmas. Better than none. Only one. Yeah. We'll see how my leave is. I'll just send it over and you can display it. <laughs> Actually, technically, I've got his display. Well, then he can display mine. Yeah, send it here and we'll drive it down in the truck. Yes. <laughs> Three, just bring over an empty suitcase and you can just take the whole thing back with you. Yeah, I don't think it quite works like that. Damn it. It's like, damn it, damn it, damn it. Well, as it is, that's that's the entire size of it at the moment. <laughs> That'll fit in a suitcase. Well, yeah, I, I may cry if the motor bits come apart, though. Like, yeah, it can be static. Yeah. Now, Diggler says, I want to do a volunteer thing, make up my mind on displaying. And Steve can just shush. That's what Steve says it's set after Christmas. We're all sick of it by January. Yeah, shush. Just Steven, shush. And yeah, I'm displaying it at Bricktober, which is the start of October. Perfect time. It's when Christmas starts, according to retail. Yeah. Yeah. When all the decorations start going up, the silly season starts. Mm. Yes, I, I have something very exciting um, planned for Brickvention, and as soon as I get the complete thumbs up from the Brickvention people, I'll be letting everyone know. Who isn't already involved in it? I heard something about that. Oh, yes, so have I. I've already talked to people. Mm. And he said he's been talking to you. Yeah. I only, I only have one major concern. Yeah. Yeah, it's exactly the concern that I have. We'll figure yeah. it out. Without that, it's kind of pointless. Hmm. Um... Is it? Steve says, thought someone mentioned there being a lack of it at Brick Mansion. It's a timing thing, perfect for October. It's like, Christmas is all year round. Oh, my God, Ryan, you said that at the exact same time. I know, isn't that freaky? You know. Isn't Brick Mansion just after Christmas? Exactly. Yes. Mm -hmm. Exactly. It's a perfect time. We're all over and done with, over it. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Hot cross buns on Boxing Day. Um, Primal Gaming asked, is the building just a facade at the moment or the whole building? On what? On the on the Christmas display? I'm assuming. Sure. 
We'll wait for the for the delay and then the answer. Yeah, on Ryan's thing. Oh. It's a building. We're moving again. So it's actually a building. It's got a back, not an exciting back, because it's just like a little food courty type thing. And the little window, why is that window closed? Oh, that side, it's backwards. So there's the little stool where you get your ice skates. There's little ice skates and that in the background. Then over this side's a little, really hard to get the camera in there. But in there there's a little, um, Pretzel man. Type, yeah, little pretzel man in there. It's all right, Ryan. It's my job to remember these things, apparently. Yeah. So it's just sort of like, yeah, the little stall. The little building. Stuff. The little building. Yeah. Very cool, anyway. Yeah, I can't wait for the rest of it. Oh, yeah, I've got three other buildings out there. Oh, did I show the other building last week? Um, I think you may have, but yeah, yeah, cool. the way that it goes here is that we get asked the same questions multiple times, so feel free to show them again. And they'll be sick of Christmas by Christmas. There's no such thing, blasphemy. But I'll go get it. <laughs> I like my shirt. Look at my shirt. Nice shirt. Bricks. Uh, I've got that same shirt. I don't think you do. No? That, that's his design. Probably have another shirt that's similar, but not like that. It's just all bricks? No, it's not all bricks. Oh, okay. Uh, what have I missed? What have I missed? My brother says I'm going to have my uh, have the best birthday next year. First trip to Melbourne, first time to Legoland. Oh, you mean Discovery Centre. Yeah. Shame it's not a real Legoland. Maybe next Kulag show trip will be to Western Australia. Lol. Don't joke about that. I will make it happen. Make it happen. Yep, yep. She's just coming over to suss everything out so then she can, you know, work out where everyone's going to stay and all that. Lay the groundwork. <laughs> Uh, um, Bill wants to see your shirt properly. No, it's all right. I saw it. I realise it is different. Ah, it is different. It's a very cool shirt, though. Yeah. Different Different to what? I have a shirt covered in bricks as well. I thought oh. it was the same. But yeah, okay. as you were walking away, he's like, oh, I've got that shirt. I said, I don't think so. No. Yeah, no, mine's completely bricks. Me, uh... Joe and Billsy all bought the same shirt to wear to Disneyland in Japan, and then none of us wore it. <laughs> nice. That's this one's available on Redbubble. Oh, come on. Spook, spook your shop. I don't What's the name? What I, do. I don't hey. know what it's called. I just type in Aussie Brick Chick because I put that as a tag so I would remember it. Oh, <laughs> sucker. It, it also brings up your shirts. For anyone who wants to buy shirts. <laughs> this is part where I go, I have stuff on Redbubble too. I've sold exactly one shirt. No, I'm not wearing my shirt. I've sold one shirt. I, I yeah. had it printed and I forgot to adjust where the the, the, the actual print sat, so it's like down here. <laughs> I also got a tote bag, which is really good, but I don't know what I'm going to use it for. You're going to give it to me. Well, I've got two. <laughs> What's going on? So, What's going on? Here's my other house anyway. Oh, yeah, I've got more things to show. Uh, where's the camera? It's the Ryan Show and Tone Tell Corner. So this one was, um, I don't know, another Friends set. The one that had obnoxious Friends green little bracing and that. Mm. So I changed all that to white, changed the chimney. It was just, uh, um, oh, that's right, I had a hot tub, didn't it? So got rid of the hot tub, put a proper chimney there. 
And I think I might get another one of these and rebuild it in a slightly different colour, just because I like the size and shape of it. And it's a cool, cool size. Yeah. yeah. And it goes well with the other friend scale stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I like what you've done with the skis. Oh, yeah, my skis. That was a nightmare. <laughs> so instead of doing what Lego do and just stick them in a bucket, they're actually attached, which was just a few um, trans clear plates behind it so I could angle it, and then a snot brick. And it's still got the obnoxious bright-coloured friend stuff inside. Ha, ha, ha. Because, because it's friends. Yeah, is that the last one you built? Yeah. Yeah. So that's new. I don't think everyone's seen that one yet. No. Um, and the roof did stop there, so I extended all that back. That oh, looks good. Nice, easy sort of modification to have something that looks effective. Yes, do good. So I ditched the hot tub time machine, huh. which is around here somewhere. Door. Ah, you're working on the roller door. Yeah. Yeah, it's Definitely. amazing how much building he gets done when he shuts up and just builds. Very ingenious, the, the roller door. I think he's just enjoying this too much, aren't you? I love how they've started bringing the roller door pieces back. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah. Well, they used them on um, one of the modulars as a front window. Yeah. Um, yeah, in the um, square. Yeah, and I think they used it as part of a roof on another one. Yeah, I think I can't remember. Can't remember which one it was. I don't have modulars, so. Mm, I don't remember which one. Yeah, I'm not sure about the roof one, but definitely used it as a window on the bakery. Yeah. Uh, It's actually used as a proper roller door mechanism. Mm. Yeah, yeah, it's done really it's well. Too. Yeah, that is very clever. Yeah. yeah. As opposed to having the um, grooves. Yeah. yeah. It still has a little bit of the groove, but you can actually. Yeah. But uh, having the groove across the roof, which. Yeah. Uh, Temple of Air Jitsu was the one that, not a modular, Temple of Air Jitsu had the roller door bits. Okay. Yeah, I think some of the. And see, it... see a primal gaming. I think possibly. And have like a big... black skylight type thing, maybe the brick bank or something. No. No nah, brick bank. No, it was had definitely had... A Temple of Air Jitsu. Oh. There's something. Oh, the um. Destiny's Bounty's got it as... Oh, yeah, Destiny Bounty has it on it. Yeah, it uses it in tan. That's tan ones as part as of the canopy. sand pan canopy. They get a nice natural nice. curve to it. Yeah. They've really started using it. Mm. Mm. Yeah, good to see it in things other than police station and fire stations. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 or the garage for ha from how many billions of years ago? Yeah. Ten? I think it first appeared in a late 80s police station from memory. That's a good piece anyway, or good pieces. Yeah, seeing it as the roller door was really, really cool. And then the way they hide the winder as like a wheel hub is really cool. So uh, it's a really good build for this garage. I thought about getting it, but that'll just open the door to all of the modulars. That's not a door I'm ready to open. Yeah, we nah. opened that door many years ago. Yeah. I've got the um, cafe. Going forward. Yeah. Ryan, you don't have the self-control to not go and buy all the other ones, but then again, you probably have the income to afford them. I will do in a couple of weeks. Yay. 
I'm slowly moving all my Lego into one house. How so, many months? How many months? About six. Uh -huh. Can't rush these things. Been since Christmas. Mm. That's seven months. That's shocking. My Lego will all be under one roof eventually. I'm like, and your address is? Well, you'll find out in a couple of months. <laughs> I'm going to blindfold you when I pick you up from the airport. What? You're going to blindfold me so I don't know where I'm going? Okay. So you can't she won't know where it's going anyway. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, you're probably going to have to, like, you know, pat me down at the airport, make sure I don't steal anything. Yeah. I'll just lock my Lego room door. <laughs> I've never met a Lego room lock that I haven't been able to. Yeah, I'm not going to finish that. I'm an electrician. Uh, what was it? Roller door first appeared in the 1981 fire station. Awesome. Well, there you go. Yes, Douglas, that was originally how it was set up a house for the wife and kids and a house for the Lego. Yeah. <laughs> It's been like that for many years. It was good being able to have all my helicopters suspended from the roof without anyone complaining. Yes. Like 200 plus Lego helicopters, including all the big Technic ones hanging from the roof. That's a lot of helicopters. That's a lot of holes. That's about what they release in a single year, isn't it? 200 helicopters? Well, if, if you include all the ones that come with the police stations and fire stations, yeah. <laughs> They're definitely helicopter mad, Lego. Yes. No. Go to bed. Hey there, sure he's going crazy. The teenage there. child is lurking. Go to bed. Don't forget to brush your teeth. And the other things that you know you should. Now it's telling me how the orientation goes for this. And we expect a full demonstration once you've got it on there. It's coming along. Mm. How nice would it be winterizing all of the modulus? Yeah, it would. And they're about the same scale as the friends' houses because modules are a little bit bigger than city scale, aren't they? Uh, yeah. Oh, that is such a cool... Yeah, you Broke. better be... I think I've got it. Very ingenious. Thank you. Oh, that's smooth. Nice. And it gets a little hung up on the way back down. Maybe, Maybe just the way it's try pushing to be. all the bricks down a bit. Yeah, it's really cool, huh? They. That actually rolls. Yeah. Yeah, because I remember in the old sets, you'd have to manually lift it up and yeah, down. Yeah, push it up and yeah. it's up and then. Yeah, that's cool. Such an ingenious idea. Just this little tie here that, yeah. Nice. Yeah, they hide it well. Mm. Well, they made it pretty compact too. Mickey 3 gs says that the fire brigade has the roller door, or a roller door as well. I'm actually being charging. Oh, and good night, Ingrid. Touch. Ingrid's heading off. Oh, I'm glad somebody's paying attention. Oh, I've just learned that it pays to actually have the other end of your cable attached to a plug before you actually charge something. Sometimes. Charging with a cable that wasn't actually attached to anything. Oops.
What size are the dark green windows in the garage? I forgot. Uh, two by one by one. So two high. Uh, yeah, two by two by one by two. Yeah. Two studs wide, two bricks high, one stud, one stud deep. Mm. Might have to finish at the end of this bag. Yeah. I was on it. Either that or you'll be finishing without me. Boom, boom. Yeah, no. Not happening. Not far off finishing bag two. Then we can power through the other bags three, four, five, and six next week. Yeah. Time to hopefully yeah. start something else. Really new. Oh, yeah. He, he is anxious to build something big that came in a box last week am i right no this is the other thing that i was telling you about earlier <gasps> oh the other thing is not even out yet yeah ah. hopefully it arrives in time we well, have to order it first yeah somebody's eager to build something that is new 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 this is how our pile of shame gets bigger, boys and girls. <laughs> all the shiny things get all the attention. Speaking of shiny, it was a bit disappointing that the Harley doesn't have chrome parts on it. Yeah, what's yeah, I thought that? So cool. They've just gone away from chrome. I don't know if it's a manufacturing thing or a cost thing. I'm pretty sure someone out there will chrome it. Yeah. Oh, Chrome City Bricks have probably already done all the parts. More than like they probably already had the parts except yeah. for the rims. Yeah. I saw mocks of it or uh, modifications before it was even out. So obviously someone right. got them for um to do a review of and then they modified it. I know someone put a um the Hulk the Hulkbuster on it to give people an idea of how big it was. Yeah. That was a um Dream World or Bondi or something, wasn't it? I think Bondi did it. Yeah. They put the yeah, Hulkbuster, probably, Hulkbuster on it. Something Lego did it. So does that mean it would be a little bit too big for the buildable Star Wars figures then? Because they're a little bit smaller than the Hulkbuster. Possibly. No, I think I've seen a Stormtrooper on it as well. Yeah? I'm pretty sure there's images, yeah. I'm just not too... I don't know which Hulkbuster they actually used. It'd have to be the big one. Yeah. So you think of the UCS one? Yeah. yeah, it was that one. I know a few people have probably put um, Galador figures on them. <laughs> if they've opened their Galador figures. Well, they probably just have some open ones. Mm. I've got mine around somewhere. I saw it the other day. Dealer says that Aston Martin cost some flack for its chrome silver. They go might have chickened out. Yeah, but that wasn't even real chrome either. No, no that, that was like flat. It wasn't shiny. Yeah, the, the pearl. Yeah. That pearl silver. Yeah, they need to go back to the days of actually doing proper chrome like they did on the old model team sets shiny, and stuff. Shiny. That black. There was a black truck or something, wasn't it, that had a... Yeah, big rig. Yeah. Big rig black cat, which is in a box. Over yeah. there.
I see a lot of pieces disappearing. Yeah. Bottom marble's nearly done. Bottom marble are always fun to build. Um, yeah, they are. Really looking forward to assembly square. Yeah, that's a good set as well. I wonder if they'll do another big, big one like that when they can hit um, 10 years of the, the second wave of modulars. It'd be good, although they, they jam so many ideas into each modular, sometimes too small that they kind of waste that idea, I feel. Mm. You know, like the Assembly Square, for example, they do a dentist office. It's got a lot of detail, but it's so tiny it could have been better. And same yeah. with the music studio. Um, it could have been bigger and better as well. Like, they seem to have to have four or five or six different things in each modular, whereas sometimes they just need to give it a bit more space. There you go, Sean. Nice truck. Nice oh, crew. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Need to click on yeah, you. Yeah, that's the one. That's nice. Shiny, yeah. shiny. It needs quite a few repairs because I literally just pulled it out of a box, but yeah, back when they actually had real chrome. Proper shiny. <clears throat> I think that's one of your um, dad's wants. Mm. Really wants that one. Good luck trying to get it at a good price. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's a very nice model. It's a yeah. shame they stopped doing the model team, but mm. they've got Creator Expert now, which is basically the same thing. Mm. Yeah, I do like the Creator Expert cars. Yeah, I do too. Mm. I'm, I'll be passing on the Harley because I'm not a bike person. I can appreciate it. No, I just ordered it. I'll, I'll be getting it. I'll be passing on it. Well, that's my personal preference. Yeah. I've got a few motorbikes, not many. I'd really like to get another Mustang and do it as a convertible. Yeah. I want to custom build one into um, Eleanor from Gone in 60 seconds. Yeah, so. I reckon. Yeah, that'd, that'd be cool. Then if I do that, I'll do the bullet Mustang as well. Just trying yeah. to get those parts in dark green would be hard. Yeah, it would. Yeah, then I could get them all in dark green. Yeah. And then do the Mustang from um, Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift. Just make yeah. the Mustang and then custom made Nissan engine to go in it. Yeah. It's a bit sad that they dropped a did a Nissan engine in it. Ugh. Yeah, but for most of the drifting scenes in the movie, they actually still use the V eight. Yeah, for the um I watched a, a car channel that I watched that's based here in Australia. They went over and talked to the guy there and it's just a they can pretty much order it as a plug and play and just drop it straight in. Okay. Just order it straight from um. Yeah, I think they yeah the, the jet engine and order it comes on a crate, pull it out, drop it in, and off they go. Yeah. Yeah, people do conversion kits for everything these days. Mm. Yeah. And it just gives it um, simplicity. If it's the same engine in all the cars, if something breaks and we've got all the parts and stuff for it. Yeah. Are we there yet? Just about. 
Someone's tired. Someone's got to go to work in the morning. Are we there yet? Most of us do. Are we there yet? Almost. Is that a woman? She just called me woman. Yep. Oh, there, yeah, yeah. Oh, we're quitting, are we? Protest. No, you're not. Finish it. Finish it. Finish it. Finish it. <laughs> no. Fine, it's mine now. Mine. Mine. Not, not, not yours anymore. Mine. Go on, you can finish it then. No, I don't want to do that. Don't want to? No, don't want to. I'm not sure if I'm watching him doing it. Are we there yet? You can't go to bed till you finish the tow truck. What tow truck? There's a tow truck in this. No, no. I've got to be up at 5 o'clock in the morning. You're cruel. You know, right. you the tow truck's in the last bag, isn't it? Probably. Well, if that's the case, this will be the Aussie Brick Bloke stream and not the Aussie Brick Chick stream. So I will be tapping out. As will I in about two minutes' time. Hurry up. Hurry up. Oh, my God. What are you parts going on? Well, I had grand plans of doing some sorting tonight, but now I've got a skating rink in front of me, so. Oh, what a shame. Sorting didn't happen. That sounds like you used it as an excuse to do nothing. Yes, yes, I did. Procrastination for the win. Yep. I randomly started building a mock that kind of turned into a bit of a haunted house. Nice. It wasn't oh, going that way. It's, uh, it ended up that way. Ooh, nice. Wow. Looks good. Hang on, let me click on you. Hang on, hang on. Oh, cool. That is cool. So it's, not, um, it's definitely not mini quick scale. No. no. That's huge. That's cool, though. Something different. Your picture's crooked. I don't know. It's meant to be. Don't you love it how sometimes it's harder to actually do that than it is to do it normally? <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> oh, damn, That's it's not nice. Right, Will. Yeah. It's very cool. Yeah. I'm not... Going the um the opposite way. I want to get the haunted house, but not actually by the set. I'll just brick link the parts. And then restore it and winterize it. Ah. It's just a really nicely designed Victorian style house. Mm. It, is, it is nice. It's one of one of my favourite sets. Yeah, that's another one I regret don't not getting. Yeah, that's rather expensive these days. Yeah, sure is. But yeah, I'll end up just um, bricklinking all the parts for it because. Yeah, obviously, I don't need all the details. Yeah. A lot of the parts used in it are more and more common now. So, Bricklink yeah. should be a lot easier. Whereas five or six years ago, the parts were still quite rare. I I'm just like, does anyone remember when it was on clearance? It came up and nobody wanted it. Yep. Jeez. I wanted it yep. when I was on clearance, but ours didn't have it. Yeah, ours never it, lost things. It was, it was sand green, wasn't yep. it? Mm -hmm. Pretty rare back then. Yeah, too, but people still didn't want to buy it because they thought it was too expensive. Right. The tow truck's in bag three. And what bag are you up to? Well, there you next go. Week. Well, next week. Carry on. Yeah, no. next week. Next week. Are we oh, finished? Yes. We're there. You're starting to sound like Channel oh, 7 make me tune in next week. Yes. Huh, yeah, huh, that's huh. the idea. Yes, you've been sucked in, Ryan. You're here forever now. No. Yep, part of the furniture. No. Ask Bill. Part of the furniture. I only just yeah. got a chair last week. This, this, this is how it starts, isn't it, Bill? 
it happens. Absolutely. We've been together a long time, haven't we, Bill? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, how did I sign up for this and why did I why do I keep coming? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's always fun. All right, so we've finished what the, the first, the ground floor. Yeah, we've still got the station part. Yeah. So like the, the actual level. building part of it. Mm. We got roller door, we got inside stuff that yeah. he's been showing it as we went along. I love how they've done the, the little tool chest on this too. It's really cool. Very clever. Little drawers and your vice up here. Really well done. Very some nice. tools hanging on the end. Handle. Here's the skates as wheels. Really cool. The, the attention to detail on these modulars just keeps going up and up every every time one's built. Mm. Yeah, it does. Up there. That that is where we are going to finish for tonight because Aussie Brick Chick has to have work in the morning. Got to work to pay the bills, the Lego bills. Isn't that right? Mm -hmm. Yep. I think he's having little, too much fun playing. Well, it's even got a little lift on the inside too. It even goes up and down. Up, down, up, down. A little sliding mechanism at the back. Yeah, you're having too much fun now. Too much fun. Okay. Yeah, a good build. Good build so far. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. You're gonna make me one yeah. boy. Well, this is the current one, so you can get it still at yeah. retail. This is where he's like, I'm sorry, we're here to encourage you to buy things that you didn't know you needed. Now you need it. Yes, well, I was thinking about buying it just for the tow truck. So I've got a pretty substantial tow truck collection. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, well, on that note, Seeing as I, I need to go to bed, I might say thank you, everyone who's joined us in the live chat, except Critter. You're a pain in my butt, but we can still be friends. Um, yeah. <laughs> I want to say thank you to Ryan for joining us, albeit a little late. We'll forgive you, Mr. In the Past. I want to yeah. say thank you for Dan for coming in, even though he's had a very busy day streaming. Make sure you check out his Twitch channel. It's Between the Bricks. Yeah, Mr. In the Future. Mr. In the future, yes, I have the future and the past here. And the, and, present. And the present, we've got Bill. Thank you, as always, Mr. Part of the Furniture. I uh, wouldn't yeah. know what to do without you. No, dramas. <laughs> and on that night, it's red button times, boys and girls. I will be back on Friday night with TGI Fridays with some of these people, I'm assuming. I don't know. They're my friends. They feel indebted to come occasionally. Okay, red button times. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Oh, and Rod.